Uh, who comes first, my wife or my mother? Many people think it's your mother because heaven lies at her service and so much more and she gave birth to you and she looked after you and everything and your wife only came later on in your life and so on and so forth. However, that answer is not accurate. The love that you have for your mother is very different from the love that you have for your wife. Any mothers out there, your son will love his wife so much, but that love is not stealing from yours, not taking from you. He might not be able to spend as much time with you. Be happy for him. Be excited that he's getting along and moving on with his own life, subhanAllah. And remember, he will always love you, subhanAllah. However, when there is a dispute, who comes first? Justice comes first, whether it's with your mother or whether it's with your wife. Whoever is right, that is who we will stand by. But remember to navigate the waters with a lot of respect. When you're correcting your mother, you must correct her. You must stand up for justice. Allah says, oh you who believe, stand firm for justice for the sake of Allah. Stand firm for the sake of Allah. Be just. Even if it is against yourselves, your parents or your relatives, you stand and side with justice. This means, if it's against my mother or my father, I will stand with justice and not with my mother or father. If it is against myself, I will stand for justice and not with my mother or father, not even with myself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people fail because they allow their parents to trample over their spouses, claiming that that's my father, that's my mother, those are my parents, they gave birth to me. Even in the eyes of Allah, that's wrong. Look at Ibrahim alayhi salam and so many of the messengers, may peace be upon them, when they corrected their parents because they were wrong. They didn't say, you're my parents, so I cannot correct you. You correct them, but be kind and respectful. Notice when Allah speaks about parents in the Quran, instead of using the term obedience, he always uses the term kindness. Be kind to your parents, kind to your parents. But obedience is for Allah. Remember this. So if your mother is wrong and she's a human being, she will be wrong many times in her life. You need to stand up for justice in a kind way, beautiful way, explain to her. Sometimes you might have to detach. You may have to leave the house because if you're living together and your mother or father is oppressing your spouse or your children, you will definitely have to make the decision perhaps to protect them. If nothing is happening by you speaking to them, then you might have to leave the place. And this is why Islam allows you or instructs you to offer a separate quarters to your wife.